but basically, um, the temperature has been increasing over the past um, century or so, as the um, data released today have shown. Um, and the fact that we've had so many of the warmest years um, happened in the last 15 to 20 years of the record is really indicative that um, this is really a, a, a temperature change, a, a global warming. And um, the fact that that has um, happened simultaneously with increases in carbon dioxide concentrations in the atmosphere and releases of other greenhouse gases um, is really very conclusive proof that um, this is a signal of um, human-induced global warming. One of the f factors that um, probably we thought might make it not the, not the warmest year was the fact that it wasn't uh, a, an ENSO, uh, a warm ENSO event here. Um, typically, the warmest years happen by, because of, uh, in coincidence with um, ENSO events, um, but that last year wasn't. So um, I think we just have to look to the generally, generally the fact that the Earth is warming. Um, there are always going to be small ups and downs in temperature just due to um, different processes happening in the atmosphere, oceans, and on the land. Um, I, I think um, it's, it's not a particularly remarkable thing um, taken in the context of what we'd seen over the past um, few years. I mean, obviously, uh, when you live in one particular place and uh, experienced um, a, a very cold winter on the east coast of the United States um, in, in early 2014, and again, some fairly, fairly cool temperatures in the, in the late part of 2014, the, the local weather seems to be suggesting it's not quite as hot as it has been, um, but you really do have to put that into a global context, and you see that um, when you look over the entire globe, there were relatively few cool areas this year, and that's what makes the uh, 2014 uh, record um, sort of ha happen like it did. Uh, yes, yeah, so I mean, we see that since the 1970s, the, the surface temperature of the Earth as a whole has increased by about one and a quarter degrees. Um, and uh, regionally, every year, you get some fluctuations uh, regionally um, where it's cooler in some places, warmer in other places. Um, that change has happened fairly constantly since the 1970s the, in the global mean temperature. Yeah, we can see, you know, if we uh, look at the uh, data that were released today, you can see that that trend happened through the 1970s quite strongly. Um, there may have been a hint of a pause at one point, but really that's just the type of natural fluctuations in global temperatures taking over. Uh, and in recent years, the, um, the, uh, the, the trend is, is clearly a positive one again. So there's a, you know, that, that increase is very persistent over time when you take out those um, short-term fluctuations of a few years in that record. Um, I think fr from, a, from a NASA perspective, you have to think that we've got a, a wonderful fleet of satellites that are providing information about uh, many aspects of the Earth, the, like the atmosphere, the land, the oceans, and the cryosphere. Um, but those data really exist only for the past uh, one or two or three decades. Um, the surface temperature record is a thermometer-based um, data set. It's been measured in a consistent way for way over 100 years now, and that really gives us a strong grounding. It's a, it's a strong and... Uh, um, and, and an accurate record that we can use to um, calibrate things and to check um, against a constant database of how things are changing in the longer term.